curry. What a great concept. And I believe it's now the national dish of Great Britain, where it's taken over from fish and chips. Though I understand that in some parts of the country, curry is indeed served with chips. Now, we've all heard of red and green curry from Thailand, but how many have heard of amber curry? No one, I suspect, because I've only just invented it. It takes its name from not traffic lights, but this, turmeric. It's the turmeric that will give colour to chicken, which is the basis of the curry. A two kilo chicken will be perfect for about six people. And look for one that is in fact free range. And you can tell whether they're good because you can see the flesh through the skin and they're lower in fat. I like to use a whole chicken, which I dissect into about nine pieces. And this can be done very quickly indeed yourself, or of course, you could get chicken pieces from your butcher. But by using a whole chicken to start with, I can save the carcass to make stock. Another major ingredient is onions, and I like to use lots and lots of onions in this dish, cut into very, very thin slices. Now, all the ingredients of this dish should be prepared in advance of cooking, because the initial stages of cooking happen very quickly indeed. So I get my spices together, and I'm using a teaspoon of ground ginger, two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of ground coriander, a teaspoon of fennel powder, apparently fennel is a very good appetite stimulant, a teaspoon of ground fenugreek seed, this is a plant of the pea family, you may be keen to know, a half a teaspoon of white pepper, and cardamom, two or three pods, or you could take the seeds out and use just the seeds. And of course the turmeric, which you've already seen. Now to the cooking. In a large wok or frying pan, I put a little oil, Usually for this recipe I use canola or peanut oil. You could use most other oils or even clarified butter or ghee. Over high heat I put in the chicken pieces, keeping them on the move. And it's best to use a non-stick pan for this. They're cooked over high heat to brown for about five minutes and then I sprinkle in the turmeric, tossing all the while. After another minute or so I remove the chicken pieces with tongs and set aside. Onion next and a little more oil and then they're fried very quickly over very high heat. Once brown I remove half and reserve. Then put in with the rest some garlic and the spices just to toast them to bring out the flavours. You could of course use a bought curry powder for this but I think that making up your own curry to your own taste is absolutely perfect. Now to liquid. I add about 500 mils of stock, chicken or vegetable which is allowed to reduce by about a third with the spices. And I add coconut cream. About 100 mils is stirred in with the heat reduced. It's a good idea not to let this mixture boil too ferociously. Gentle simmering is better. Now once incorporated I stir in some chilli sauce, a couple of teaspoons but this is entirely a matter of your taste. In fact, I'll put in four or five teaspoons because I like it very hot indeed. The chicken pieces are put in and the dish is allowed to cook very, very slowly for around 45 to 50 minutes until the chicken is delightfully tender. That was easy, wasn't it? How easy? Well, the degree of difficulty, low. Capability, well, in fact, it will be better the next day and will keep for two or three days in the refrigerator. Preparation time, about half an hour plus cooking. Time to serve, and I put the curry on a bed of steamed rice, topped with some roasted peanuts, a few coriander leaves, and the remaining onion, which I've briefly refried. Fabulous. The consuming passions, amber curry of chicken. Amber often meaning caution, and it does in this case, because I've made it very hot indeed, so I wouldn't accompany it with a wine, maybe a light beer. From Consuming Passions, till next time, bon appetit, the taste test next. Oh, love hot chili. Mm. Oh.